the KSHB 41 Weather Academy. Here is Wes Peary. Welcome to this edition of Weather Academy. I'm meteorologist Wes Perry. Today we're going to talk about a couple different ways in which we can measure the heat stress on your body. And the first one and the most common is the heat index. We take the temperature of 91 degrees, the relative humidity of 64%, and that makes it 104 for the heat index. We use the heat index because moisture in the atmosphere has ability to kind of counteract your body's natural cooling mechanism, and that is called sweat. How it works is, well, you sweat out, and then it's either kind of a windy day or it's a hot and muggy day, and your sweat evaporates at a lower or higher rate. The lower humidity in the atmosphere, the more moisture that will get evaporated off your body, and it cools you off better. But the higher the humidity, the air is actually already holding a whole lot of moisture, and so it takes a long time for it to evaporate the sweat off of your body. In fact, whenever your skin temperature hits 95 degrees, the evaporation process or the perspiration process that cools you down actually gets a little bit tougher. Another way that we can measure the heat stress in your body is something called the wet bulb globe temperature. And this has a lot more kind of science or, or maybe individual aspects behind it. So take for instance, the heat index is just the temperature in the shade, by the way, in the shade and then the relative humidity. So that's the heat index equation. And then the wet bulb globe equation takes into account the temperature in the sun. And that's really key there, in the sun. It's a lot hotter in the sun. We do have the relative humidity. We have the wind speed. We have the cloud cover and we have the sun angle. So all these things do impact your body. And a lot of athletes or uh, high school teams use the wet bulb globe temperature to decide whether or not they need to have practice inside. It's on a scale of four different levels with the extreme version, meaning, hey, you can only be outside for about 15 minutes in the sun before you need to take a break because your body is being impacted so much by the hot temperatures. The KSHB 41 Weather Academy, sponsored by Bob Hamilton Plumbing, Heating, AC, Rooter, and Electrical.